Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee on a Thursday, the day after Valentine's Day. And I got special guest co-host with me today from Bag Fuel. We got Heineken. Who, who? You would bring us on Side Chick Day. And S.O. Mm, Southside <laughs> Jamaica. We made it up here. I know. Ooh. I was like, I hope they're not busy on Side Chick Day. Nah, Come nah. on, stop. We're working. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, I, you know, this is a good this is a good place to be. Oh, absolutely. On that day. Um, but we got a lot to discuss, but you guys have a very successful podcast. Thank um, you. Yes. Appreciate that. Appreciate mm. that. So, I know you'll be fun as guest host today, talking about everybody else's business. Of course, we. I can't wait. A tad bit. We're gonna be spicy. All right, not a problem. Mm-hmm. Even just behind the scenes, we were talking about Marcus Jordan and Larsa Pippen. Ah, oh my God, she Here fighting for go. a retirement plan right now. We were right talking now. about Usher. You know, the menace. What part of Usher though? Because we was talking about something different. This well, time. we're talking about Usher saying that he had proposed to Chili previously. Uh, but we'll yeah. get into all of that. Yeah. In the meantime, we got to start the show off with some love and positivity. You know, we like to shine a light, and I have somebody who I definitely want to shine a light on today. She's amazing. And who do you guys want to spread some love to? 800-292-5150. Bag fuel is here. It's time to shine a Ooh. light. It's way up. We gon' light the block up. I'm a shine. I'm a shine. Turn your lights on, y'all. Turn your lights on. Spreading love to those who are doing greatness. Shine a light on them. Shine a light on them. It's time to shine a light on them. All right, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Bad Fuel is in the building. Heineken and Esso. Yes, yes, we're here. And, you know, this is where we spread some love and positivity. I know you guys do this all the time, and we'll talk about that. <laughs> we about peace and love. About oh, yeah. You already know that. Spread love. love. It's the Brooklyn way. That's the Bad Fuel motto. Yeah. But I want to show some love to Naomi Cowan. Now, she's actually playing Marcia Griffin in the Bob Marley movie that just came out yesterday. But she's mm. from New Kingston, Jamaica. Her dad actually was Bob Marley's road manager. Mm. Oh, word. Okay. Yes, okay. and and she's also done Angela Yee Day like three times, so that's my girl. I think she's so talented. She's an artist. Uh, she has a project that came out, Star Girl, but she has a song called Lucky Me that I love. And she's a re- when I talk about positive, she is a really sweet and amazing person. Um, she can sing. She can play instruments. When you see her on stage, it's very mesmerizing. And she's beautiful. She was Miss Teen Jamaica. When oh, she was younger. Do you really stick you stick by your people, boy? I mean, I'm happy for her. This is so dope. And I know that's one of her idols, like Marcia Griffiths. So be able to play her in a movie, that's huge. And I know she did a great job. So I just want to shout out to her because she always checks in on me. I always check in on her. During a pandemic, I went to Jamaica. Yeah. She definitely came by and mm. hung out at the hotel during COVID. Oh, okay. Shout out to you. you. You sound like a great woman. Nah, she's dope. I was just appreciate her. So shout out to shine you, Naomi Cowan. Her. Now, who do you guys want to shine a light on? 800-292-5150. L, who do you want to shine a light on? Myself. I have wrote, direct, produced a movie that is featured on Tubi now. It's called Justice. It is loosely based on the death of my father. Ooh. So shout out to Detroit, Dennis Reed Productions, and myself for telling my story. And um, just super excited about it. So check it out on Tubi. It's called Justice. Also, Dennis Reed. Okay. I li- I'm looking at the yes. trailer right now online. Shout out to my guy, Dennis Reed, who I work with also. Yes, he's amazing. So thank him for paving the way for us to shine, do our dreams and just tell our story. Mm-hmm. Um, What's your name? El Brianna. El Brianna. And, t- and give us a quick summary of, of what happened with your dad. Uh, my father was murdered in 2003 when I was 12. And I suffered from a lot of depression and anxiety after that, feeling abandoned. And um, I became a creator. I write poetry. I write books. I do film. So just expressing myself through creativity and through film has been a great passageway for me. All right. I'll be watching that, Albriana. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you so much for having me. And we, cele- we celebrate you. Thank you. All right. Well, that was Shine a Light, 800-292-5150, in case you couldn't get through. And when we come back, we have your Yee-T. And let's set it off. We'll talk about Usher. Recently, he talked to people and put out his wedding pictures. And we'll tell you what he had to say about his relationship with Chili and how that changed everything on one specific day. It's way up. Way up. <laughs> Just like to talk like they Angela Yee, like they Angela Yee. Man, she's spilling it all. This is Yee T. Way up.
All right, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and I got my bag fuel guys here, Heineken and Esso. Yo, thank you, thank you. We about to pop the champagne and turn up real soon. Okay, uh-oh. Talking too much. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, we got to calm it down. But <laughs> let's get into some Yee tea. Now, Usher did a special people cover story. You know, he did get married in Vegas, and mm. there was some speculation. They saw that he had filed for a marriage certificate and all of that. Um, but he is officially married, and the pictures are in people. You get to see the wedding dress, them in the car the kids there you know Usher's ex-wife Tamika was also at the Super Bowl and she told Tashara at page six mm -hmm. uh, she said that one of the perks of having Usher as an ex is going to the Super Bowl and she said I'm not dating anybody that can't take me to the Super Bowl that would not be my trajectory but seeing Usher perform was definitely a perk and she thought it was great and she said she had a great time and the halftime show was amazing but Usher talked about uh, TLC's Chili mm -hmm. and said that he did propose to her and that their split really broke his heart he said she told me no I went through a great deal of pain after that not trusting women or wanting to open up he said I hurt her too but the situation broke my heart can you imagine proposing and someone says no yeah the relationship is over at that point do you need an explanation no but mm. what if they're not ready bro what if they're not ready what if it what if you're ready but they're not ready and they foul for that let, let me say this I would rather my lady cheat on me then turn down my proposal <laughs> I'm just keeping it real Oh my, that's I, I'm just keeping it real. You turn me down. No, nah, <laughs> that's because I'm over the relationship. And you know, I'm, think about this, right? He also said that he, when he was eight years old, he had her poster on his wall. Yep. And he said, one day I'm going to meet her. And then they did actually meet and fell in love and dated off and on for quite some time. No, he fell in love. She, <laughs> yeah, she, she loved him too. No, she, she didn't love him didn't. enough. She said no. He loved her more than she loved him, well, evidently. He, Usher also has a TV drama that he's developing, a series about black love in Atlanta that's featuring his music. Mm. So he said, my 30-year catalog has resonated with so many people, no matter where they were in their lives. I'm happy to be working with UCP to bring the music to life. I hope the series resonates with you the way my music continues to. Makes sense. I think Burn is one of his best songs, and that is a... Yo, You Got It Bad is the better one. Really? Not that, yeah. burn. burn burn is cool. Okay, that's, that's not the better good. record though. You know what though? When you break up, burn probably hurts more. <laughs> the, well, <laughs> it's hurt just a song. weird. But you got it bad was crazy too. Yeah. Remember, you got it bad because he hurt. Yeah, but burn is like <laughs> let it burn, let it burn, <laughs> and then the, oh my god. Well, Heineken tell to tell him that you know his his new wife that you went to school with. Her. Oh, you went to school with Usher's wife. Yeah, why are you staying yeah. quiet, yeah. bro? Heineken, why do you tell us this? I just we, she's in the music business. I know. Yeah, we, we came up together before we were all in the business. Oh, can you still make a call like your Tasha pull up? I could call her. Okay, we'll call her right now. Tell, tell her, her not pick up. <laughs> I can call her. <laughs> she may not pick up. <laughs> she, the last time I spoke to her, it was a weird day. Let me see. <laughs> Why are you right, listen, about the people you know, bro? He's going to sit here and work on that. And we'll be back. It's Way Up and Angela Yee. About last night is next. In the meantime, let's hear some Look At Me Now. That's how we feel sometimes. Okay? Yeah. It's Way Up. Last night. So, about last night. Last night. Last night. Here's how it went down. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee and Heineken and Esso are here with me today, guest hosting. Oh, yes. And Thank we're having a good time. But listen, we're doing about last night. So you guys just gave me some cannabis-infused gummies. So what did y'all do last night? <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> shouts out to our mutual friend, Gossip Viv. Mm -hmm. She called oh, me Viv. yesterday and then she set up this meeting for Esso and I to meet up with this cannabis company in mm -hmm. the city. Okay. So they gave us a couple of goodies, and um, right now we're trying to work some business out. All right. Not, not trying, this. working. Oh, yeah, well, part out. of my lingo. Fast yeah. acting. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, well, last night I was, of course, and I've been saying I was going to do this, I was watching Love is Blind. Mm. Season six just started, so I think they had um, six episodes came out yesterday. Uh, and so it's always interesting to me. They focus, they're focus. they focused a lot on this one woman, A.D., who's on here, and she's trying to choose between two guys, right? A black guy and a white guy, Matthew and Clay. Mm. Is she black? Yeah, she's black. Okay. And so she's trying to pick, and you know, so they don't know what she looks like at all. They're just having these conversations in the pod. Mm -hmm. I felt like she was trying to hint to Matthew because she was like, you know, about um, race, but it mattered to you. And that was kind of an indication because... She's black. Yeah, she's yeah. black and he's white. Um, but one thing that did happen um, with AD, she didn't like the fact that Matthew was 
saying the same things to another woman, to Amber, that he was saying to her on the show. So basically, he was in the pod. And by the way, guys, this is so stupid. You know these women are all in the house together. You know they're going to talk. Oh, I was just in there. He told me this. He told her the same exact thing. You can't do that. I, I respect them. Sometimes when you have material that's successful, you keep it going. Okay. It's a no. Yes. He didn't yes. have any experience. He's oh. dumb. <laughs> to tell, to tell the same women the same thing that are in, in the, the house same house together. together. Because yeah. you dummy. know somebody's going to come in and say, I was feeling this person. Me too. He said this. Well, he said this to me. At least that's like when guys try to talk to a girl and her friend. And then you send the same message. And then they're like, girl, he sent this to me too. But and then, at the end of the day, laws of average, one of those girls is still going to rock with him. All right. Well, you know what? This is interesting. <laughs> that's true, though. <laughs> Somebody's going to take him back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's going to work on someone. Yeah, so. The lot. It's like the lot. I'm using the same numbers. Yep. At some point, it's going to hit one day. Yep. Well, let's talk about something that Heineken said earlier. Because you have very unique views on relationships. Uh, of course. <laughs> I, I've been through the whole carousel. Yes. Yes. It's a carousel. <laughs> And one thing you said was when it comes to proposals, you would rather somebody cheat on you than say no to your proposal. Yes, I, I would rather that just because it's so embarrassing, especially as a man. You get on your knee. You spend probably 10, 10 20,000 on a ring. And she's like, I'll think about it. No, she said no. Not yeah, not about same it. thing. It's the same thing to me. Well, isn't it getting cheated on embarrassing? We'll talk about it. Though. I mean, more people. Not if they're not getting caught. 800 292 5150. Pick a side. Would you rather somebody cheat on you, as uh, Heineken says, or say no to your proposal? It's way up. Eight it's not just right or wrong, it's about what you believe. It's time to pick a side and stay there. It's way up at Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and it's a party in here today with Heineken and Essa from Bad Turned Fuel. Up. And one thing Heineken said had us all like, huh? He said that he would rather get cheated on than have somebody say no to a proposal. Now, Essa said he'd rather you say no. It's not time, whatever the reason is. Just don't cheat. All right, we want to see what you guys think. Do you want to expand on that? I just think, you know, cheating it could be done in private but a marriage proposal if your parents are there your family's there you spent all this money it's all elaborate and then she just turns around and says no yeah. oh, i'd my. rather we have the actual wedding and go through it and then what yeah no, i'm just kidding yeah, yeah, yeah i'm yeah, just yeah. trying to make sense of what he <laughs> who said who wants to marry somebody that's cheating on him yeah i would rather you just say no first of all i'm not proposing anyway but <laughs> why not you wouldn't propose to a man proposing to anybody you're not gonna get on your knee no, I'm not. Why I'm not? not doing that. You ain't You're a progressive get on woman. It's not on my vision board. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to see what you guys think. 800-292-5150. Andrew, would you rather get cheated on or somebody say no to your proposal? I want this wife tell me no. Because, you know, getting cheated on, that's hurtful. You're, you're dealing with trauma now or you're dealing with uh, the pain mm -hmm. of, well, why did I stay with you if you go cheat on me? Could you still be with them even if they said no to your proposal? Like, we could still date? I wouldn't. I would have there to go. ask some questions to see what's going on with us. And then I have to move on if, if it's not that nowhere going. If it's a wall. All right. Thank you. Heineken, that was not a win for your side. <laughs> yes, it is. He said he would rather you say no. Thank you. Thank you for calling. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> he was like, I'll take it. I'll take, it. I'll take the cheap win. It was win. not a win for you. I know. The phantom win. <laughs> Nobody wants to get cheated on. <laughs> hey, Steve. How are you? I'm good. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Are you with Heineken you'd rather get cheated on or Esso you'd rather somebody say no to your proposal? I'd rather hear the no because if you just say yes and later on in life, if you decide to cheat, then you end up in a situation like I was in where me and my kids now have to deal with their cheating mother Ooh. and they have to grow up with that. I'd rather just hear no from jump. See, he has his own personal I, experience. Mm. He was like, I wish... I think it's more paternity with him. It sounds like. I never got over being cheated on by two. Okay. I mean, today, every once in a while, I'll still bring it up. Like, why did she do that? And my kids just, like, shrug. Like, I just don't know. You know, it's not mm. because of you, though. It's because of her. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, we worked it all out with therapy and everything. It was it was tough because, you know, family is everything. So you stayed and, with her? Um, it really, really shocked the whole family when she was unfaithful. You stayed with her? No. No. Okay, no. All right. Well, I'm sorry that you went through that. So thank you for calling, though, and sharing with us and giving us your own real-life experience. You made the right thank choice. Thank you. I love your show. Thank you. Hey, Omar, how are you? Hello. I'm good. Okay, are you Team Esso or Team Heineken? You'd rather get cheated on or you'd rather somebody turn down your proposal? I'm Team Heineken. 
My man. Okay, you rather somebody <laughs> cheat on you? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. F*** that. Because once they say Makes no sense. to your proposal, it's done. So cheating, you're not done with them, though? You know, there's a small chance. Because okay. everybody, you know, we humans, so we f*** up. Yeah, because you curse twice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You see what I mean? <laughs> All right, so you don't mind oh. a, li- a little cheating. You're okay. It's human. I'm not saying it's okay, but, you, you know. You can deal with it. There's a small chance we could get back. All right, all right, understood, Omar. Thank you. See, Heineken, you got one. Uh, yeah. well, you know, <laughs> I got a pulse of the culture a little bit. <laughs> pulse. Got to throw a dog a bone yeah. sometimes. I could tell. Uh. I could tell he was going to take your side. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys for calling us up. 800-292-5150. In case you couldn't get through, we are still taking your calls on that. And when we come back, we have your Yeti, and let's talk about Drake and Sexy Red mm. and their video. That was a fun looking video. And how can you memorialize a child getting brought into this world? Better than that. It's way up. Yo, she about to blow the lid up off this pot. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Angela's spilling that yee tea. Come and get the tea. <laughs> All right, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and my guest co host today are Heineken and Esso from Bag Fuel. And we're going to get into y'all business later. Of course. We ain't got no business. We got some exclusive. We for got you. Don't business. Do that. Yes, we got exclusive Us? for we way up with you. And you know, I don't mind asking, but let's get into some Yee T. Mm. Let's talk about Drake and Sexy Red and SZA, Ooh. Rich Baby Daddy. The video came out on Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. By the way, super cute. So it's all being shot mainly through the lens of. Uh, Drake, who is the quote daddy to be, and he's holding a camcorder mm. and kind of filming everything. And Sexy Red's water broke during the video shoot, and here's what happened as uh, SZA came running up the stairs. My watch is broke. For real? What the f- do I do? For real? Why do I do my watch is broke? I don't know. Cost money. Where's she right right I'm not Where's trying to. She's right here. She's right here. Come on. Put the camera down. Man, we ain't got time to be fighting. Are you f-ing dumb? I'm trying to capture the moment. Yeah, to go. <laughs> this is cute though you know Drake's a Ill, uh, you, know, you, you gotta about, appreciate Drake yeah. Yeah. yeah and those are great moments too like when somebody's pregnant her water breaks you know the the feeling of like what do we do where do we go you've been pregnant before no my water's never broken okay. but so how you know the feeling because I have a lot of friends who have kids and so and you was there I, for all of that I've been there twice, and oh. then my friends will text me also from the hospital. Like, what it just broke? This happened, so you did know. Did you see a, the purple stuff come out? I did not see that. That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see somebody give birth. Is that crazy? The purple stuff. You talking about lean after birth? Lean <laughs> after <Not> birth. Well. <laughs> All right, oh. now let's talk about Drake. He did also offer to pay for a fan surgery during one of his concert stops. He was in St. Louis. And a fan held up a sign asking for his help while Drake was um, was on stage. He said, please help me with my surgery. And here is what Drake said on stage. But you got a sign that says, please help me with my surgery. I don't know what kind of surgery you need, sir. But from me to you, St. Louis love, we're going to take care of whatever the surgery is. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. When it comes to the pulse of the culture, I don't think anybody gets it better than Drake. Mm-hmm. They do these moments. I want to go hold up a sign like, please help me get my kitchen installed. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. you told us the price. <laughs> Look, that thousands of dollars that you spend in the renovation is crazy. Help. All right, now, Drake also at that concert talked about new music. Here's what he had to say. You know, I said I was like taking a break and all that. Shit. I'm right back on the road. It's hard for me to stay away from y'all. I really do love you. And you know, you never know. I'm like, I don't know. I might get bored on the road, so I'm making some music, see where it goes in the next little while. Yeah, the create the creativity is addictive. How long can Drake keep keep this run going? He's had it going for a while. Like what we talking about, sixteen years? Easy. I mean, it doesn't matter. Why would you stop? Yeah. Because because when it's over, it's over. And he loves keep going. He Mm -hmm. loves what he does clearly. And mm. uh, now let's talk about new music with Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign. Now their song that they have called Good Don't Die is no longer on Spotify. It was pulled. Le- uh, now last week Donna Summer's estate claimed that he used some of her song I Feel Love Without Permission. I guess he asked for permission first. They said no. And then he went ahead and tried to do his own thing with it to maybe go around <laughs> getting clearance. And here is first the original of I Feel Love and then Kanye's version. <laughs> I don't hear 
<laughs> Yo, he <laughs> is wow. Wow. <laughs> Yo, Kanye yeah, is a wow ill dude. for that. That's a sample? That's a blatant it's jack. It's an interpolation is what they call it. Yo. But I want to say that song is so amazing, the original. It makes you feel like you want to do like shrooms or something. Yeah, we and be dancing. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You do shrooms? Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh. All right, well, that is your UT. And when we come back, we have Under the Radar. These are the stories that are flying under the radar, but we definitely feel like you need to know about them. Um, this is actually going to be some sad news today, though, that we're going to yeah. talk about because um, you should be able to go and celebrate your team winning uh, yeah. the Super Bowl in peace. All right? It's way up. This is the news that relates to you. These stories are flying under the radar. All right, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And my guys from Bagview, Heineken, and Esso are here today guest hosting. Oh, yeah. Thank you for yep, the hospitality. Yep. We here, Southside Jamaica, Queens made it. All right, and we do have some sad news to talk about. The Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl Parade. Unfortunately, 30 people were injured and one person was killed amidst the gunfire that happened at that. I mean, imagine you're going to celebrate your team winning the Super Bowl and something like this happens. Now, fortunately, one person was able to tackle the shooter. That was Paul Contreras. He said that he didn't even realize it was the shooter. He just was there and it was a lot of mayhem going on. And he said he heard somebody yelling, stop this guy. And here's what he said. But as I was holding him down, I didn't know if he tried to bite me or just try to claw at my hand. You know, I'm, I'm holding him down. And he, we're fighting each other. He wants to get up while I'm holding him down. Then another guy helps me. I didn't know he had a gun until I tackled him, and that's when I seen it on the ground. So, I don't know. It was just a reaction. Oh, well, thank goodness, because it could have been even worse than it was. I mean, it was bad enough already. And, you know, we want to make sure we send out some prayers to Lisa Lopez's family. Yes. She was actually killed. She's a radio station host in Kansas City. And so, unfortunately, she lost her life. So that is super sad. Our prayers are up for her, her family and close friends and loved ones. Uh, authorities are giving an update on the Kansas City shooting right now as we speak. They just started uh, just giving everybody updates and they're having a news briefing about what happened. But they do believe that the shooting is stemming from a personal dispute, according to officials. So they said that there are three people who are currently in custody. They're all believed to have been involved in the dispute. Initially, 10 people were questioned. And um, right now they have three people in custody. It's just sad. You know, it's a celebration. You know, people mm -hmm. enjoying the victory of their sports. And Children, mm -hmm. the community. Again, our, our condolences go out to the family. Exactly. Yes, of um, Lisa Lopez and everybody who was injured or affected. Uh, yeah, our fellow media... Um, partner you personality know, personality yes. so all right well tough. that is your under the radar now you know we have the way it mix at the top of the hour Whoa. plus bag fuel is here and we're going to have some exclusive questions that i'm going to ask that they don't know what it is yet but there's uh -oh. some things i need to know all right it's way up and let's get ready for that way up mix let's go they say it's truth in the room ah! from industry shade to all the gossip Out to me. angela's spilling that yee tea talk to it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee and Heineken and Esso from Bag Fuel are here today guest hosting. Yes, we're still here. Don't Thank you surprised. for the hospitality. No problem. We're about to eat, too. Let's get oh, into yeah. some yeet. <laughs> All right. Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan. Looks like the two of them are back following each other. They were even spotted together after the breakup um, at in Miami on Wednesday, a.k.a. Valentine's Day. Well, she working mm. overtime right there. You know, she making sure her retirement plan is intact. Well, he it was crying. Like, yeah, it seems like they got in an argument and got back together. Argument, that's what you think <laughs> the argument it seems like he was crying begging and pleading to the symphony she came back to save face how did y'all make that Valentine's up? Day to be clear y'all be, be wrong be broken a lot we be wrong a lot y'all be no wrong a lot you better stop only 10% of the time we 90% accurate we ain't, we ain't never wrong okay but I saw Larsa Pippen in the comments I saw Mason Cameron weighed in on it and she put all these clown emojis really under it yeah she would say that because they was yeah, okay. They was killing her, yo. Yeah. All right, well, let's go on. Um, Eminem is going to be co-producing a super fan documentary that's inspired by the song Stan. I mean, he really made the world a super fandom told through the lens of one of the world's most iconic and enduring artists, Eminem, and the fans that worship him. Like a real-life swarm. 
is what it seems like if you saw a swarm. All right, and Steph Curry is the lead in a new comedy series called Let's Mr. Go. Throwback. Peacock has four new scripted straight-to-order series, and he will star in one of them. So it's a mockumentary series. I'm excited for Steph. He's the Steph greatest Curry. Haitian basketball player of all time. Oh, you love Steph Curry? He's Haitian. Okay, good. I like it. And J-Lo just announced <laughs> that she's doing her first tour in five years. So Uh-oh. she appeared on Today to Surprise mm-hmm. Fans with a tour this summer. It's called This Is Me, Now the Tour. Tour. And that's going to kick off in June. More than 30 cities, including New York, L.A., Miami, Toronto, and more. This is her first tour since 2019, by the way. But they were just killing her about the fact she don't sing. Yeah. Now she's going to go on tour. Well, <laughs> she's an entertainer. I think she's going on tour to show so, off her body. So really. we're going to go see her dance? Guys, yeah. She's an, enter- she's an entertainer. Yeah, you didn't say singer. You said entertainer. She's so, going uh, on tour. So we're going to pay to watch her dance. She still looks good, though. She looks amazing. All right, and Monique, <laughs> let's talk about the messages that she shared, these text messages between herself and her son, Shalon. And he had spoken about their estranged relationship. She responded and... Uh, you know, basically said that she has reached out to him and then posted these text messages. Hey, my sweet babies, here are the receipts from a mother who allegedly does not love her son. Well, now Shalon is responding to her posting those messages. Here's what she said. I guess the intelligent thing to do when assuming that your son is having a mental episode is to post personal screenshots of text messages that are three years old in an attempt to validate a false narrative as if they are some type of receipt. Neither of you should never speak on mental health again if you thought that that idea was a good one. All right. In addition, here's what he had to say about he even attempted therapy with his mom. I have even gone to therapy with my mother on several occasions. But for those who know how efficient therapy works, therapy only works when both people are being open. My mother was still in her 15-year-old mentality phase during that time, so I guess I understand why she did not know how to be open with me during our sessions. Ah, so ugly when things have to play out online. But he wanted to speak his piece, and he said the way he wanted to do that was addressing it directly, not an interview, but going live. And that is your Yee When we come back, Bag Fuel, you guys are guest hosting Heineken and Esso. Y'all have your own podcast, but you guys have your own backstory. And y'all have had some drama. But we're going to address all of that when we come back. It's Way Up. Do this. Yeah. More Way Up with Angela Yee on now. You know know who it is. is. You know who it is. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee and Heineken and Esso are here from Bag Fuel. Way Up. Y'all have an amazing podcast. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's talk about how y'all even decided to work together on a podcast, though. It's a long story, man. Let's, let's I mean, short it. short. We met Heineken. Me, me and Hein he met with Clue. Hein wanted to get Clue on his show. I was doing management stuff for Clue at the time. Clue told him to call Shout me. Shout out to Clue Minotti. Mm-hmm. It told me. Clue told him to call me. It took me nine months to get Clue on his show. During that nine months, we spoke and we built. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then from there, he was just like, yo, you need to do your own show. I want to manage you. And you know my history in this game, Ange. I, was, yeah. I didn't feel like doing another show from scratch. Yeah, you were on This Is 50 as a host. Yeah, before stories. that, doing your own thing. Yeah. True story. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, all our convos on the phone, I was like, yo, we can make this into a show. He never knew that. And I just said, let's do a show together. And he's like, for real? I'm like, yeah, because it's going to go crazy. And here we are, way up with you, going I crazy. I thought y'all skipped something, though. Weren't you guys both on My Expert Opinion? Yes, we were. What did you mean? Yeah, 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 we, yeah you <laughs> said where we started at. Yeah. We started on Bag Fuel. <laughs> then I did relationship shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then he was on My Expert Opinion. Mm-hmm. And then I happened to just, we always go with each other. Like, if you book him, I'm still coming with him. Just okay. to support him. Vice you know what I'm saying? And so he was on My Expert Opinion. One day, Mecca left. Math told me to sit in the chair. Okay. We went viral three times. And that one episode. And I never got out the chair since that point. Well... What's up, Andrew? Oh, until, until he stopped calling okay. us. Yeah. Until he stopped calling us. <laughs> All right, so now I want to be clear, though. You guys um, with Math Hopper, it was, a, it was kind of a bad breakup. At the end of it, it wasn't bad for us. It, it was he was the one that was mad. He stopped calling us. So how could it be a bad breakup? We didn't even know we was breaking up. We just was like, don't. We just got told, don't come today. Well, that is a bad breakup. If my boyfriend stopped calling me, and then, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that it, is, it is. I mean, but if you if you got somewhere else to spin off to, and you was prepared for your boyfriend to do something crazy, it's called proper planning prevents poor performance. 
P P P P P. Okay. And um, so, but you guys have since. Also gotten back together. There was a picture that was posted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we um, and so that's nice to see. We you didn't got... get back together. We took a picture <laughs> together and we spoke yeah. and we like hashed out men. a couple of things. Okay, that's good. At an event at three hundred at Say Less, mm -hmm. and then we were supposed to sit down at Chow's and further talk. But then I heard he took our picture down and. Started spazzing on us. See, a little taking bit. A, that's what happened with Marcus Jordan and Larsa Pippen. He took the pictures down. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there though a, a point where you guys are going to sit down and talk? And do you feel it's, it? It would be something that would be necessary. That could be like <sighs> sometimes you don't want to have bad blood. We're this. supposed to sit down and talk tonight, but oh, I, okay. I, but I don't know if it's still going to go down yeah. because of what we've been hearing from the street. Yeah, but I don't think it's bad blood. Overall, when we all met up at say less with each other, it was more of we just wanted to get everything off our chest as men but we no I mean, we don't have no problem no, we don't have listen, no problem listen. with math no, Hoffman. But okay good I'm glad and yeah, I hope that no y'all do meet up tonight because I would love to see that happen and look people don't have to be friends but y'all really did make some moments together that's so it. to be able to at least like you said y'all can coexist and be in the same space of course yeah. peace and love and love yeah, it doesn't that's why we posted up the picture to show that it's, you know we posted it first let me see if it's still up yeah it's ours is up but his ain't Okay. All but right. we posted the picture and me and my man collaborated on it purposely to show the world that black people can I you love know, it. It's coexist. Black History Month. Exactly. Jim time. Jones was in there to make sure everything Y'all look cool. a little frowned at. But we're gonna oh. come back and talk some more. Eight hundred two nine two fifty one fifty. Ask ye is next. If you need advice, we're here to help you out. It's way up. Whether it's relationship or career advice, Angela's dropping facts. So you should know you should know. This is Ask Ye. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And the guys from Bag Fuel are here, Heineken and Esso. And it's time for Ask Yee. 800-292-5150 is a number. And we have Amanda on the line. Amanda, what's your question? Hi, Angela. So my boyfriend and I, we've been together for four years. And yesterday was Valentine's Day. And he took me out. And we were at the restaurant. And he, while we were about to take a picture of me, he saw a guy texting me. Ooh. So he went off on me, left me with the bill, four hundred dollars. Wow. Called me all types yeah, called me all types of names, blocked me, and we haven't talked since. And yeah, I don't know what to do. I mean, that's tough. It's Valentine's Day. He was trying to do something special for you. Um, the guys are here. What would y'all do in a situation like that? She either gotta get a new dude or she gotta work to fix that relationship or yeah. offer him a threesome. Stop it's it. a wrap right now. You gotta now. do a whole lot of begging, boo. A whole yeah. lot of begging. I mean, it's all your fault, basically. So, all you can do, yep. it's up to him. But I, it's not like I was cheating on him. I'm just entertaining, you know? If he it was the other way around, what would have happened? And he don't know that. I know, but I just feel like he needs to take me back. He, right now, he's blocked he my number. Do so what? There's nothing I can do. Yeah, you got to humble yourself in a situation like this because you can say, well, I wasn't cheating. I was just entertaining, but that's just as bad. And imagine on Valentine's Day, it's supposed to be all about you and him. And that happens on that day. So he doesn't know what's really going on. You can say, oh, I didn't do anything. I was just entertaining. But for some people, that's just as bad. You were intending to. Yeah, yeah. I got to see what I can do. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to buy him something nice. Maybe he'll take me back. Part of it is supposed to be owning up to what it is that you did wrong. Do you even want him anymore? Or you'd rather have this other guy? Well, I don't really know the other guy that well. He's just, you know, someone that, you know, he's like a work husband. Oh, and you work with him, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Has he asked you about him before? Like, had questions? Like, what's up with you and him? Yeah, but he, he, he doesn't really care much. Well, he didn't really know much about him, so then he saw the messages, and that's when he went off on me and left. So I do still want my boyfriend because we've been together for years, but, you know, sometimes it's good to be appreciated by others as well. Did you have yeah. sex at work? No. That's well, cap. I think you need to. I think you need to understand that sometimes it's also issues in the relationship that cause you to do things like this. So it might be things that you have to address. But right now, all you can do is own up to it, take responsibility. There's no excuses, you know, for what you did. And if he does give you an opportunity to have another chance, you have to let him know. Look, this is why I, I believe this happened because there is a reason that things like that happen. Mm. That's true. That's true. He's been busy, you know, not giving me a lot of attention. So maybe that's why, you know, my work husband, you know. 
You got to stop it with this work husband. <laughs> that whole neglect thing. She sounds, ends, I she told sounds, you. Sounds like neglect. she wants to double dip still. She she wants the benefits of both men. Yeah, you got to get rid of a work husband. <laughs> She's outside. She's outside. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of him. Okay. All right. Well, thank you and good luck. Thank you. All right. Well, let's see what she does and let's see what that update is for Ask Yee, 800-292-5150. If you couldn't get through, you can still leave a message. We'll answer your question that way. But when we come back, we got to talk about Freddie Gibbs. He was trending yesterday for Valentine's Day and today. And we also have to discuss the host of Hot Ones, Sean Evans. Would you guys date a porn star and be okay with that? No. On purpose? Yeah. No. Actively and people know? Yeah. Definitely no. not. 800-292-5150. We want to hear what you guys have to say about that. If you fell in love with somebody, but she happened to be a porn star, or he did, uh, would you still be okay with uh, posting them and being public with your relationship? 800-292-5150. We about to do this. Yeah. Yo. More Way Up with Angela Yee on now. You know who it is. You know who it is. All right. Oh, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee and Heineken and Esso are here with me today from Bag Fuel. Yeah. Ooh. All right, that's that second bottle of champagne voice. Yeah, yeah, All right. To... Well, today we're talking about whether or not you could marry a porn star. Now, this is after Sean Evans, the host of Hot Ones, actually found out he was dating Melissa Stratton. She's an adult film star. And 24 hours after that news broke, he broke up, too, with her. And then Freddie Gibbs, his ex-girlfriend, is a, a porn star, Destiny Creams. <laughs> and she posted a picture of him... Mm. Which everyone is labeling Spready Gibbs now, and uh. he's allegedly bending over and spreading. And so, um, you know, we're just asking you guys, what would you think about that? So, Heineken? What do I think about what exactly? Could you date a woman <laughs> who is a porn star? No, we could just get money together and just have, you know, wild I feel like you have. Not on purpose. But you've done it. Yeah, but I, you know. Why are you talking like that? Have you done it? Speak up, bro. Yeah, no, what happened? I, nothing. So, was there an issue that you feel like you wouldn't do it again, or? No, it's just, it's crazy. You just like, she's, oh, oh, pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that was that bad, but okay. You know, and then, um, <laughs> she's having sex with a bunch of people. Is that what you're trying to say? Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you didn't like that? But you knew it before. I mean, I no. mean, you knew it before. No, no, no. Afterwards. Was she better in bed because of it? Oh, yeah. It's always going to be top tier. Okay. Now, what about it's you? It's always going to be top so tier. In your past. In my past. Why, Could you it, have dated a porn star? Why would you say my past? Because it's not going to happen now. Oh, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Hell no. I mean, heck no. All right? I'm not dating no <laughs> why not? Why? why? What's the issue? I don't man? date strippers. I wouldn't What's date the strippers. Issue? I would not date porn stars. I don't trust it. I don't want to see nobody in dealing with something that's supposed to be mine okay on tv with multiple men and feel confident about being what if mine? it was with other women then that's something different okay I could, uh, yeah so, that's yes. easy okay interesting what All about right. yourself Hinch? um i've never been in that position would you <laughs> that's a double entendre would you but, date a um, porn star man i don't think so but Why? i'm not sure but I, I never say never to anything but, i and ideally i can't see myself saying this is what i would want to do but if it were to happen Maybe I'd be okay with it. I'm very open. Double entendre. No, yeah. I'm kidding. All right, well, what do you guys think? 800-292-5150. We have 10 band men on the line. Could you date a porn star? I mean, no, not purposely. I wouldn't date her, but if I find out she a porn star after we was dating, I think that we porn stars at that point. Okay, you'll make a video. <laughs> Uh, we gonna be on OnlyFans. Yep. Oh, Run it up. If I find Run out it up. So you a porn star, we got to make it lucrative. What would, what would That's the a name pimp of, right there. What would the name of your porn be? Watch me work. Okay, all right. You see it. All right, well, thank you, Tim. Hey, Angela, you, you, you know I met you at, at the concert with Lil Arsenio, too. The little boy I managed him, the one you took a picture with, oh. Big Motion. Oh, yes, I remember that. Okay, I see. All right, well, thanks for calling. <laughs> yeah, you have a great day. Hopefully he's not listening. Thank you. Hey, Danny, how are you? I'm doing well, Angela. How you doing? I'm good. It's me, Heineken, and Esso. What, Esso? The accent? You got a funny voice. Yeah. <laughs> well, did you, uh, would you date a porn star? I did. It's not even that I would, I did. Okay. What's and the porn star's name? Yeah, I can't give you all that information now, man. Settle down, bro. Settle yeah. down. Settle, Settle down. down. I, I, probably, can't. Oh. I probably had him before you. Uh oh. <laughs> now, tell me how, how it was for you, though. You was cool, everything. You didn't have any insecurities. Uh, I mean, like, we was cool. It was. Nothing serious for too long, but like we was in a relationship, and then that's what it was. And 
uh, I, honest, would I do it again? Yes. Yeah, I'll do it again. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you break up with her? Honestly, it was just long distance, man. It just wasn't. It wasn't meant to be. Okay. She was always out of town doing Lord knows what. Or who? <laughs> she's working. He was a little insecure. I see that Lord knows yeah, what or who. She's working. She's making money. You was she can't paying be all the bills? insecure with a porn star, Angela. What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> you know what you signed up for. Mm-hmm. Yo, all the bills. All the bills, dog. And then you all still the broke food, up with her? Nah, bro. <laughs> That's a chilling, pimp right honestly, there. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you, Heineken. Then the relationship dynamic changes. Then it's a pimp. It's over. Stop. Okay. Relationship. Yeah. It's over. Stop. All right. Well, if you couldn't get through 800-292-5150, you could still leave a message. And, of course, this is your show. So when we come back, you guys get to have the last word. It's way up. Pick up the phone. Tap in. Tap in and get your voice heard. What the word is. Here's the last word on Way Up with Angela Yee. <sighs> What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Bad Fuel was in the building today. Heineken and Esso. Yes, yes, we're in the building. We touched down on Way Up with Yee finally. I appreciate it. And we were having a flawless, flawless time yep. until just now. There's champagne <laughs> on the ground for the fallen soldiers. <laughs> Number one on the list. Heineken. <sighs> mm. But you know what? I do appreciate you guys. Honestly, I had a good time with y'all today. Thank Likewise. You. That was fun. We ate. Everybody's about to take a nap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep. I'm kidding. Just y'all. We know you're not going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. But um, also, I want to say a happy 26th birthday to Leisha Vargas. She works for security in our building downstairs. I so happy birthday her. to you. Is she here today? I didn't see her. Yeah, she's on vacation. Oh. Why would you lie? No, I saw a pretty girl that looked like it was 26. That so wasn't I, that wasn't her, bro. Oh, I would have said hello. Uh, her boyfriend who also works downstairs. Oh. Okay, thank you. It's a family affair. <laughs> Shout out to him too, Chris. Shout out to Alicia Vargas. Okay, relax. Nah. He already has issues with y'all looking at his girl too much. Well, don't say y'all, it's him. <laughs> oh, you, Heineken. Thank you, don't say All y'all. All right, well, thank you guys for joining us today. And again, the number is... 800-292-5150 in case you couldn't get through we'll always take your messages and we play them at the end of the show as last word it's way up hell no ain't no way can't do it porn star only fans model stripper it's a no go hey ye so I'm just calling in about the proposal if you want to propose would you rather have them say no or get cheated on well I proposed she said yes but I got cheated on during the engagement so now the engagement is off but I guess I got saved um, before the wedding so that we didn't have to get a divorce. So I just want to call in and say that. Um, keep going all the way up. We appreciate what you're doing for the culture. Thank you. Hi, I'd like to shine a light on my husband, Brandon Harris from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. He is amazing. He's an amazing father. He's an amazing husband. He's an amazing friend. He's an amazing coach. He's a father figure to so many. He got a birthday coming up on Sunday. Happy birthday, baby. I love you. You deserve so much. Going way up up, up. with Angela Yee.